In this video, we're going to get the last day of the month using the date function in PHP. So I get a lot of questions about dates in PHP and it's fairly simple, but I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to get the last day of a month in PHP. Let's get started really quick on getting the last day of the month here in PHP. So here on the ideapro.io site that we use for testing and examples, I've created a page called lastday.php and I've opened that page here on our browser. Of course, there's nothing on it. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna open up a PHP bracket and we're currently just gonna call a date variable and we're gonna call date y dash m dash whoops y dash m dash d h i s okay so what that's going to do is it's going to give us the full rep full four year representation of the year the month two uh two numeric value for the month and the two numeric value for the day h is the hour in military time 24 hours or from zero to 23 I is four minutes and then S is for seconds. This is the standard for um, storing in a database. So we'll put out here, we'll standard database date. So typically if you're using WordPress or something like that, that is typically how WordPress stores their date for post, post modified um, and stuff like that. Okay, so now we have that date and we're going to Echo that out to the screen here. We're gonna come back over here and refresh. And that gives us 2021, 9, 6, 11, 13, 40. So it's 11 a.m. Uh, on September 6, 2021. So we can format that, and I've showed you guys videos on how to do that before. But in this video, I wanna show you guys how to get the last day of the month, okay? So we're gonna use that date here. We could do it two ways. Let's say this is a date that was um, not today. We wanted to use it for a different date, but we've pulled that date in. But we wanna figure out what was the last day of February of this year, right? So, and, that, and this is a February date coming from WordPress database or something like that. So we could call um, last day is equal to date and then here we're just gonna put a T and we're gonna do the str to time and we're gonna call it date, okay? So now we've got date here. We're going to do a break. Come on, there we go. And then we're going to do the last day here. So last day and we're going to come back and we're gonna refresh this page. So now that gives us a 30. So this month, September, there's 30 days in the month. So that is the 30 days in the month. Now, if we want to add to this date, we could say y-m-t, and we come back over here and refresh. And now that gives us September 30th, 2021. We know that is the last day of the month. and the we didn't include the hours minutes and seconds typically whenever i'm doing this on a um, code like this that's not pulling it from a database i'm doing what time is it now what's the date now i want to know if that corresponds with our current time zone so i'll add that his in there to make sure that uh, it corresponds with that correct time zone hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.